Welcome to Chemistry Teller class. Uh, today's topic is uh, Organic Chemistry Introduction and uh, some of uh, the very first part of Alkens will be uh, teaching you today. Now first of all, you might wonder what is organic chemistry? Organic chemistry is the area of chemistry that involves the study of carbon and its compounds. Now you can see, you might be familiar with the periodic table, right? Now if you uh, take the periodic table, you will see that carbon is in which group? Right. Group 4, right? Yes, group 4 it is in and the symbol for carbon it is C. The mass number is 12 and atomic number is 6. And when we draw the uh, atomic structure for carbon, it is like this. Uh, it has got 6 protons and 6 neutrons in the uh, nucleus and four electrons in the outer shell. Now this is why it has become important that it has four valence electrons. So electronic configuration also I have written there. All organic compounds contain carbon, nearly always it comes with hydrogen and also often it will be mixed with other elements. So uh, this is the reason why carbon is the backbone of all the organic compounds. Now that's because of the unique properties of carbon. Now carbon has an exceptional ability to bind with a wide variety of other elements as you can see here. Now carbon can bond to hydrogen, carbon can bond to oxygen, nitrogen and bromine as well. Carbon makes four electrons available to form covalent bonds giving it the highest covalency and uh, give it, uh, making it uh, numerous, forms numerous compounds. Uh, 11, it also it uh, forms multiple f bonds with other atoms, including hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. Now, another uh, unique property of carbon, as I have mentioned just now, carbon atoms can also form stable bonds with other carbon atoms. As you can see from here, carbon, this uh, co black ball represents carbon atom. This carbon is bonded to the other carbon atom which is also bonded to the other carbon atom. As you can see here, it is a sing this uh, one line that represents single bond. So in, prep in this alkane, the propane has got only single bonds. But if you come to this structure or this compound, this has got uh, two lines between the carbon atoms. So that means this is uh, this is forming a double bond. So this has got uh, between the carbon atoms double bond and then uh, if you look at this structure you'll see between the carbon atoms there is three lines representing the triple bond. So that's why we say carbon can form multiple bonds. Now the other unique property of carbon is carbon has the ability to form very long chains of interconnecting carbon-carbon bonds. Look at this structure. This has got all carbon atoms joining one to the other. It has formed a large, very large molecule or long chains. Here also you can see carbon atoms has formed long chain of molecule. Now this property allows carbon to form the backbone of organic compounds. That's what I was saying before also, which are the basis of all known uh, organic life. And do you know, nearly 10 million carbon containing organic compounds are known so far. Now organic compounds uh, can be divided into two groups, that is hydrocarbons and non-hydrocarbons. And hydrocarbons in our syllabus, IGCSC, will be studying alkanes and alkenes and uh, non-hydrocarbons will be studying alcohols, carboxylic acids and esters. Now we, when we come here you might wonder what are hydrocarbons, what are non-hydrocarbons? Well hydrocarbons are those compounds which contain carbon and hydrogen atoms only. It's very important that you highlight the word only 
because uh, if you just leave it like that then there is chance that we can say that uh, some other elements are there. So, to avoid that always write when you define the term hydrocarbon that those are the compounds containing carbon and hydrogen atoms only. Now, look at this compound it has got carbon you can see this C represents carbon and then H that is hydrogen atoms. So, this compound contains only carbon and hydrogen atoms likewise this is a large molecule, but you can see it has got only carbon and hydrogen atoms and this is what we call a cyclic structure because it is enclosed it has got like a hexagonal uh, ring. Uh, so, this uh, is also containing carbon and hydrogen atoms only though the structure is different you can see it has got only carbon and hydrogen atoms. So, that is why we say it is a these are hydrocarbons. Most hydrocarbons we can obtain from crude oil that you will be studying later. Now, we also said uh, about non hydrocarbons. So, what are non hydrocarbons? It is uh, non hydrocarbons are compounds containing carbon hydrogen in addition to that it can have a different element like oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, uh, phosphorus these are the elements that uh, usually you will find the organic compounds combined with when it is non hydrocarbon. So, look at this structure this has got carbon hydrogen, but you can also see that it has got oxygen atoms. So, that means this is a non hydrocarbon look at this this also has got oxygen nitrogen also. So, that is a non hydrocarbon. Now, we come to homologous series. Now, the, the uh, I will go back and show you um, this. These uh, alkanes, alkenes, alcohols, carboxylic acid and esters all these are homologous series. They are examples of homologous series. Now, what are homologous series? These are family of compounds with these characteristics, okay? same general formula or same functional group you might uh, categorize them or you might identify them with their functional groups. So, they will have same general formula or same functional group and they follow or they have similar chemical properties and they follow a trend in physical properties and each member changes from next member by a CH2 group. I will be showing this later on when we do alkanes. Now, uh, here we mean similar chemical properties like for example, if a compound in the uh, same series, if it is reacting with oxygen, the another member of the same homologous series will undergo the same reaction but it might not be at the same rate or it might not be in the same way, but it will be undergoing similar reaction. Now, physical properties here we refer to melting point, boiling point and uh, density, flammability, viscosity and all those things. Here the trend it refers to that it follows a particular pattern like for example, when the carbon number increases the a flammability decreases like that. Now, we come to alkanes. Now, what are alkanes? As uh, just now we have said that it is a uh, homologous series, right? One of the homologous series. Now, uh, in alkanes, there are also uh, we can uh, say alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons. They are saturated hydrocarbons. Now, we must know what saturated means. Saturated means that it contains only carbon carbon single bonds, only carbon carbon single bonds. Throughout the structure, it should not have any other type of bonds like we discussed double bond, triple bonds, it should not have, should have only carbon carbon single bonds. Now, uh, then uh, you already know what hydrocarbon means that it contains only carbon and hydrogen atoms. Now, this alkane the homologous series it has the general formula C n H 2 n plus 2, where this n is the number of carbon atoms like it can change from 1, 2, 3 and so on. 
Now, the suffix for alkane uh, is n, meaning that it end, the name ends with n. Now, this is very important. You need to know how to write the molecular formula and name in alkanes. Now, for that, uh, to get the molecular formula, you have to remember the general formula of the alkane, which is CnH2n plus 2. Now, to get the formula, what you need to do is, you have to substitute n is equal to different values to get the different molecular formula of the alkane. Now, we are going to learn how to write the molecular formula of alkanes and also how to name them. Now, to write the molecular formula, the first thing is you need to write the general formula of alkane that is CnH2n plus 2. Now, to get the first member of alkane, put n is equal to 1, okay? Into the general formula, wherever n is there, put 1, C1H2 times 1 plus 2. Now, uh, there is one carbon, C1, and then number of hydrogen atoms, when you solve this, you will get it, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2 will give you 4. But if it is 1, we do not write. So, where uh, instead of writing C1, you can just simply write C and then H4. Now, this is the molecular formula of the first alkane. Molecular formula. Now, we have to name this alkane. To name the alkane, look at the prefix. Now, if it is one carbon, we call it met, two, et, three, prop, four, but, five, pen. Now, look at this molecular formula. There is how many carbon atoms? One, right? So, it is the first name of this, first part of the name of this alkane is met. And then we have seen that all the alkanes name end with N. So, add N to this to get the name of this alkane. So, together you call this methane, right? So, CH4 is called methane. That is the name of the first alkane. Now, if we go to the second, if we want to find the second alkane's molecular formula, what do you think? Which number are you going to put? Right, n is equal to 2, right? n is equal to 2. So, put n is equal to 2 again into the general formula. So, this time it is C2H2 2 times 2 plus 2. So, this is C2H2 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 it is 6, C2H6. That is the molecular formula of the second alkane. Now, let us try naming this. Now, C2, that means 2, it is 2 carbons means et, et plus et plus n will give you E10. Did you get it? Yes, right? Okay. Now, you can try n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4, n is equal to 5 and try to get the molecular formula and also try to name them. Okay? Now, we come to the structural formula. Now, that you have learned molecular formula and also you know how to name them, we come to the structural formula. Now, you might wonder what is structural formula? Structural formula will, uh, is how you show the bonding between the atoms of the elements present in the compound. So, let us take the first alkane which is CH4. This is the molecular formula and uh, how you do it, I will show the model here. This is the carbon atom, okay? The black ball represents the carbon atoms and these are the bonds. Okay, let me get, this is the hydrogen atom with the bond, okay? You can see this is one carbon, so one carbon, but how many hydrogen do I need? You know that carbon has how many electrons? Four electrons, right? So, it can bond to carbon 
hydrogen can bond to carbon like this and it will be four bonds to the four electrons. This is the molecule of methane. This is the 3D model which you do not need to draw but this is how it is. Uh, we draw the two dimensional diagram usually. So, carbon bonded to four hydrogen atom. Make sure that carbon has got four bonds around it. This is the structural formula of methane. Okay? This is the structural formula. Okay, this is the second carbon atom bonded to this carbon through a single bond and then since each carbon is surrounded by four bonds already there is one carbon in between the carbon atoms. This requires three more bonds which will be bonded to hydrogen atoms. Right? Now this is the model 3D model of ethane molecule. Okay. Now we can draw the structural formula carbon bonded to carbon since there is two carbon atoms. Then there is one atom, one bond. Then around the carbon atoms put three more bonds that will be bonded to hydrogen atom. Similarly to this carbon. Now this is the structural formula of ethane molecule. Right. So, I hope you will try these structures, try to get the structural formula for these alkanes. Okay, so today we have learned uh, just a brief introduction about organic chemistry and uh, we have also seen uh, alkanes, what alkanes are and uh, how to name, how to draw the molecular formula how to draw the structural formula of alkanes. So for today I hope you have learned these uh, things that I have taught you and hope you have enjoyed today's lesson and uh, we will come back again tomorrow. Thank you.